the next hydrocarbon that we're going to name are carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are acids. They are weak acids. Uh, and in our next unit in organic chemistry, uh, we'll look a lot at these weak acids. Uh, but for now, we're just going to learn how to name them. And so if I have my hydrocarbon end uh, or hydrocarbon derivative end, uh, and then I have my C double bond OOH at one end or the other, this makes it a carboxylic acid. So this COOH, it's sometimes written like this too, by the way. So you need to be able to recognize that if I smoke it all together, it's the same thing as that. Uh, so that's a carboxylic acid. When we're naming carboxylic acids, we're going to drop the E at the end, just like we did for alcohols, and we're going to end oic acid. We're going to change the ending to oic acid to tell us. In an alcohol, I sometimes put, you know, one all or three all after the blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's because the OH group could go anywhere it wanted. Here, this carbon is always going to be carbon one. It has to go at the end. There's already one, two, three, four bonds to this carbon. It can't go in the middle. It would have too many bonds if it was in the middle. And so I'm going to name it, pardon me, number it so that it is always number one. That's always number one. So there's no need to put one oic acid because it's always carbon one. Okay, so let's name this one here. Uh, here's my line diagram. I have one, two, three carbons in this molecule. Three is, oh, three is prop. They're all singly bonded, so A, N, E, but I'm going to drop the E, recognize it's a carboxylic acid, and add oic space acid. So this is propanoic acid. Its molecular formula would look like this, uh, C12, H12345, COOH so that I know it's a carboxylic acid. I'm not going to combine those carbons into three carbons because then that takes away from the viewer that it is a carboxylic acid. So I'm going to smuck this together here and then smuck that together there always for carboxylic acids in order to donate that uh, or indicate, I should say, that it is a carboxylic acid. Okay, let's have a look at this one for iodobutanoic acid. So but meaning four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Remember, this is already the carbon that is this carbon. That's really important that that carbon is still part of my parent chain. So oic acid, that's going to be my double bond OOH from that point there. Now, remember, this has to be carbon one. So that means carbon four, where the iodine is, one, two, three, four, is at the end here. So at the end, there's an I attached to that carbon. So that would be the structural diagram for that guy, the line diagram, and I would stop there. But if I wanted to make it a, I could do that and then make this, well, I've already got one hydrogen there, so I need two more, or, I mean one stick there, so I need two more hydrogens, two more hydrogens, two more hydrogens, no hydrogens because it already has four sticks. Okay, uh, this one up here, I have one, two, three, four, five in my longest chain. That makes this pent and oic, oops, oic acid. Uh, this has to be carbon one, two, three, four. So off of carbon three, I have a bromo, and off of carbon four, I have a methyl. Bromo comes first in the alphabet, so 3-bromo-4-methylpentanoic acid. No space. Okay, and then here I have a benzene ring with a carboxylic acid in it. This would be C6H5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Took off that last hydrogen in order to stick this substituent on. So C6H5, COOH would be the molecular formula here. Um, and so this is benzene with the carboxylic acid attached. Now for this one, it's weird. I don't drop that E and add oic acid like we would like to do. What I do is I do all the way, I, I, I take it all off. 
Uh, benzene is like a weird molecule. So benzene, oh, benzenoic acid is what it is. Weird, right? But anyway, that's what it is, benzenoic acid uh, or benzoic acid. Hmm. Okay, so benzoic acid is what it's normally called. The end.